Napolitano and the Department of Homeland Security are cowards because they hide behind the misleading numbers instead of acknowledging how dire the situation on the border really is. A six-year-old boy in Cowards. Read this. Read this chapter. Go. I don't care if you buy the book. Go to the bookstore and just stand there and say, they say, you going to buy that book? Yeah, I'm going to probably buy that book. I'm just reading this chapter. Read the chapter, then put the book back on the shelf. Or you could buy it. I mean, you don't have to put it back. It's not necessarily the way we would advise to. Are you guys getting percentages off of that? Are you getting a couple of... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just saying the information is important. In fact, now I insist that you just go read (laughs) this and just put it back on the shelf. I wouldn't do that. A six-year-old boy kidnapped... (laughs) (laughs) A six-year-old boy kidnapped... I'm still in the text. Kidnapped in his Las Vegas home at gunpoint... Because his grandfather owned a cartel more than $1 million. That's not spillover violence. Five men tortured and killed. They had their throats slit in northern Alabama by men working for a Gulf cartel. Not spillover violence. Hildago County Sheriff's deputy in Texas shot three times while responding to a cartel-related kidnapping call. We could go on and on and on, and we do in that one chapter in Cowards. What needs to happen is any time individuals associated with Mexican cartels engage in violent criminal activity against anyone on U.S. soil, it needs to be documented so Americans know the truth. The truth. That's what cowards is about. That's what we need to be about. That's what Washington needs to be about. That's what our media needs to be about. The truth. By the way, thank you for making this the number one bestseller in America three weeks in a row. Now, something else we can do about the border situation that fits into what we've been saying lately. Control the language and win the debate. When we talk about illegal immigration, we can all be for legal immigration we don't have to be against something we don't have to be against anything or anyone because we're not we're for the rule of law we are for legal immigration it's pretty hard to call you anti-immigrant if you're talking about how we should have immigration and it should be legal and it should be easier I don't know anybody who doesn't want good, decent America appreciating people who can infuse us with work ethic, with new ideas. There's this great book out called Imagine. Don't buy it. Read read my book on the shelf and then buy it for Stu and Pat and their kids' college <laughs> education. Thank you. Thank and you. leave the other one. But there's this great book out. I was just reading it last night called Imagine. And it talks about how it talks about how the brain is creative and i've learned so much about myself and and the people around me who are very very creative and um at one point they talk about how if you go to a foreign country and you live in a foreign country for a while you are more likely to be very creative and be able to think out of the box because you just don't see things the same way you accept them if you are living in the same hometown and everything else, you just accept that the way th- this is the way things are. Barbie, the Barbie doll, was actually a, a gift from a woman to a little girl, her, her daughter, because she was playing with paper dolls and she was calling them mom. And she was like, no, that, that's a baby. That's a, that's a child. And she's like, yeah, I know. But she wanted to play with adult dolls. She went over to Germany and she, this mom, she went over to Germany and she saw this this buxom little, like what turned into later, be the Barbie doll. Well, she bought it at a bar. She didn't know because she didn't speak the language and she didn't know the culture. That was a man's kind of like sex toy. It was like a, it was a, a naughty toy over in Germany at the time. She gave it to her daughter because she didn't know. Her daughter loved it. She convinced Mattel to make something like it. That's how Barbie was born. You think out of the box. We have to think out of the box. And the people who can help us do it are new immigrants. They can help us think out of the box. Einstein was an immigrant. It's good. It's all good. It's good for them. It's good for us.
And that's how we should frame this topic from here on out. Yes, we want the border secure. What nation on earth wouldn't want their border secure? Mexico certainly can secures their border. Why shouldn't we? It's is our border less important to us than their border is to them? No. They're not under attack. We are. What are we thinking? We should expect employers in this country and those who want to come here from elsewhere to respect our laws, our traditions, and our culture. That's certainly expected. If you go to Germany, you go to Mexico, you go anyplace else, that's expected of you. And yes, we want immigrants to legally immigrate. That's our stance. We're not against illegals. We are for legal immigration. They make us better. That's the winning target. Stop painting. Stop stop letting them paint you in a corner. They're a joke. They're, They're over. The left has been exposed. The progressive movement has been exposed. All you have to do is finish playing the game. Just finish. We're at halftime. We've already won. Get back on the field and finish the game. 